Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. You join me from the Impreza WRX uh, project. Um, now, I've been really enjoying my ownership of uh, the car, um, but there's quite a few videos that I want to make before I do part with this project car and start on the next one. So uh, I got to start bashing out the, the jobs really. Uh, today I want to really get those brake calipers refurbed. Now, if we look at the outsides of the car, um, you're going to look at it and you're going to notice really that they are letting down the appearance of the car. After I restored the paintwork and detailed it, the paintwork is absolutely stunning. Um, everyone comments on the condition of the paintwork and how nice the car is. But uh, I just look at those brake calipers, they're mismatched, they're discoloured and they don't look very good. So we're going to be taking them off today, giving them a full respray, painting them up, making them look really nice and then refitting them to the car. So that's the plan. Let's just jump out of the Subaru. I'll show you what we're working with and then uh, we'll get it in and we'll make a start. Okay, so you join me from outside the Impreza. Now I've got to show you the shadow side, unfortunately, because I don't want to spoil the next project on the channel. Um, but yeah, as you can see, if we take a look down here, uh, the cars are looking stunning, but those brake calipers, while they work great, there's no problem with them, they just don't look very nice. They're miscolored, discolored rather, mismatched, and basically they're letting the car down. The wheels are in pretty good condition as well, actually. The interior is immaculate. So literally, the only thing letting the aesthetics down of this car are those brakes. So without further ado, let's get it in the garage. Let's uh, whip those brakes off. So one tool you're going to need are these uh, brake pipe clamps. Uh, what they do is they pinch the brake pipe so you don't siphon all of the brake fluid out onto the floor. I got four of them because I'm going to be doing all the brakes in one hit. Um, I also, you're going to need some uh, caliper paint and uh, things like that. So I've got all of that. Um, these are going to come in handy. Usually I use a mole grip with a bit of rag around, but it's not ideal at all. So they're much better and they've got rounded edges on them. So they're uh, not going to damage the brake hose. So let's get the car in and let's whip off those brakes. So I'm at the front caliper now, um, basically I want to pinch the line with this little uh, clamp I've bought, I've bought four of these. So we're going to put it around the rubber hose and we're just going to clamp it down as tight as we can get it. And what that's going to do is just going to stop all the brake fluid siphoning out. Because you can disconnect the line and it'll keep dripping out for a couple hours afterwards.
around to my little shed. Um, I haven't quite finished building it yet. There is only uh, a little roof on there. But we're going to go there because I don't really want to be painting again in the garage. After I'd done the Evo brakes, I had overspray, which took me ages to clay bar and polish off. So I'll be going around to the shed now um, and then we'll be painting these calipers. So let's do it. <laughs> Down. 